Dr. Mindy here, and on this video, I'm gonna go through fasting and progesterone. So sit tight for a moment because progesterone is one of those hormones we don't give enough credit, but progesterone is the hormone that makes you feel calm. It's the hormone that can help you sleep. It's the hormone that raises serotonin. Estrogen raises serotonin too, but progesterone gives you a little serotonin boost. So we want to have progesterone. And if you're a woman over 40, yeah, it's declining. And men, your progesterone declines too. You have a little bit of progesterone, so we're not leaving you out of the progesterone conversation. And if you're new to my channel, I just wanna say welcome. I am on a mission to get a million people here this year and teach you all how to build a fasting lifestyle. A fasting lifestyle is our way out of this incredible immune crisis we're having in the world. It's also our a way out from a lot of hormonal imbalances and chronic disease for that matter. So learning these principles is pivotal. I'm excited to share them with you. So welcome. And those of you who always share these videos, just you guys are awesome. Appreciate it. Um, we're all in this together. So, so grateful for you. Okay, key points I want you to know. This has been a series, this whole week has been a series. So when I said estrogen, I wanted you to think insulin resistance. When I talked about testosterone, I wanted you to think about insulin and cortisol. When I say progesterone, I want you to think cortisol only. You're gonna see that I'm not gonna talk a lot about insulin in this one, hallelujah. But we do have a world of people that are insulin resistant, which ha is a crisis onto itself that we've got to address. But when we're looking at progesterone, we have to think about stress. And there are two types of stress. I talked about this on Tuesday. There is a hormetic stress that's helpful and it forces your body to heal. And there is chronic stress that's not helpful for anybody. Now, here's what's interesting about progesterone is that neither of those stresses are helpful. You do not want to have a hermetic stress and you do not want to have a chronic stress. So the minute you put yourself in stressful situations over and over and over again, whether it's through deciding you're gonna go one meal a day all the time, or those of you who love doing three-day water fasts all the time, or if, you, if you're working out a whole lot, or just life is really stressful. When that stress keeps coming at you, your body will not make enough progesterone. Now for women, this is not only anxiety, literally anxiety producing, but it's going to affect your cycles. So if you're spotting or you've lost your cycle for no particular reason, it may be that you need to bring progesterone back. And we've got to do that by being very clever with how we fast and when we don't fast. So this is one of those rare videos you're gonna hear me say, mm, low progesterone, mm, not, don't have a cycle. We gotta really be mindful of how we fast. And maybe in, for some of you, you need to not fast. So let's explain this for a second. So let's talk, let's just go right to when you should not fast. If you think you have low progesterone, should you use fasting to raise your progesterone levels. And the first person I would say that I wanna warn you against too much fasting is the person that has is infertile or has no cycle. Now, I'm not saying no fasting. I'm saying vary your fast, stick to some of the smaller fasts. So make sure that you're not overly pushing it. If you know your progesterone levels are low, and it's causing you to not have a cycle and it's causing you to be infertile. I want you to stick to those 13 to 15 hour fasts and then some days I don't want you to fast, okay? Second thing is that if you're trying to get pregnant, the right after your, your ovulation period, like day 15, no fasting. You need to be nurturing your body. You need to be leaning into foods like the beans and the squashes and the potatoes. So if you're actively trying to get pregnant, you can fast from day one until day 10, right before ovulation. Around ovulation time period, you can do intermittent fasting, but after ovulation, up until the time you would bleed again, I don't want you to fast. That's the other person that shouldn't fast. 
And then the third scenario is the menopausal woman. So we just aren't getting progesterone back again. It's going away. Um, and so for that woman, it's not that I don't want you to fast. I want you to do more of a 421 or a 511. Like I sh go watch the video I did on uh, how women over 40 should fast. I I'm getting really with hormones this month. I'm really getting into these nuances so that you guys can customize a fasting lifestyle to your hormonal needs. So that's, that's the first thing. The second point I wanna make is that fasting will raise cortisol. So how do we get around that? And that is that we do shorter fasts, like I just recommended, and that we vary our fasts. So I just covered that. But if you know progesterone is low, know that you're either going to do short fasts or vary the fasts. Okay, third thing. Now here's the fun part. When you think about progesterone, you think about stress, but I also want you to think about food. So let's look at all these hormones. This is the last day of our fast training week. Let's kind of bring a summary together. Let's look at all these hormones. Estrogen, you're gonna rock fasting. Testosterone, you gotta do some variation, but for the most part, fasting, losing weight, that's going to help. Um, cortisol, if you're under a lot of stress, you're gonna to wanna to limit your, your, your fast. But with progesterone, we really wanna use food to heal. Food is gonna heal progesterone levels better than fasting. So you wanna make sure that you're, again, varying the fast, keeping it short, but leaning into those progesterone-building foods. Okay, I know that can be confusing. So believe me, this week I took on a big nugget trying to teach you guys, this is the kind of stuff I teach in my reset and in my academy, but I wanted to bring it to you here on YouTube for a variety of reasons. One, I'm just so grateful for you guys. You've been incredible fans that have sent my information out into the world and we're getting just incredible feedback from people who are getting great results from YouTube. So um, I wanted to get into more hormonal uh, and fasting information for you. But if you're confused and you need more help, join us in the Forever Immune Reset. This is where you take that confusion and you simplify it and you, you put it into action for yourself. I'm in the reset, my guides are in the reset. It is a 19 day experience where we're gonna show you how to become metabolically flexible. We're gonna show you how to build your immune system. We're gonna show you how to get your mental energy back. We're gonna show you how to reduce your pain levels to sleep better. All the miracles of fasting, we're gonna show you how to build that fasting lifestyle in that reset. So just put forever immune reset and we'll send you a link for that. Okay, but progesterone, we think food for progesterone and we think we keep stress low. Estrogen, we think insulin sensitive, let's go keto, let's fast like a fiend. That's a testosterone, we think variation and we think insulin sensitivity. So that gives you just a big picture here. If you want more information on everything I taught this, this week, there's two places you can go. One is the free companion guide. Just put companion guide in the, in the comments. And women over 40, this is my, my prayer to you. I want every woman over 40 to change her lifestyle so that she doesn't have to get on HRT. She doesn't have to get on bioidentical. She doesn't have to suffer with cancer or with, with cardiovascular problems. There is a lifestyle that needs to change at 40. And in this book, I lay out that lifestyle. So I'm really excited to share it with you. Just put menopause reset in the comments and we'll send you a link. Whoo, okay, there you go. That was a lot of information. So let me know how you guys received this information this week. And know as always, I'm cheering you on. And next week I'll be back with some great videos and congrats on another awesome fast training week.